Welcome to Spider Technologies. My name is Jason, and today I'd like to show you the Algo IP paging horn. In the box are just a few things. You have the documentation that no one ever reads but makes the lawyers happy. You have some mounting hardware for getting the horn either up on a ceiling or on a wall, and you have the horn itself. Now when you receive this horn, you may think, oh no, uh, I did not get an IP paging horn, because when you look, you'll see some metal contacts that you see on many paging type devices. But in fact, if you spin it around and you look right in here, it's not immediately obvious, but that is in fact an ethernet port, and this is a PoE enabled IP paging horn. There is no power adapter included, meaning it will only receive its power over the Ethernet, uh, which is nice. Uh, you simply take a PoE-enabled network switch to have centralized power distribution for several of these. You put a battery backup on that PoE switch, and now if the power goes out, everything still stays running on that battery. If, however, you have one of these horns out at the end of a warehouse and you don't want or need a network switch uh, to run multiples, you just have one or two, you can also use a PoE injector. And what a PoE injector does is you put this wherever there's the source of power and you have power in and then you take the network in and it will inject or put power onto the network out. So if you have power, say, at the location of the horn, you would put this there and have a simple pigtail that carries both data and power uh, to that horn. Otherwise, you can also keep this in utility closet, and then you can have the entire line to be powered that way as well. And so uh, it is a PoE-enabled horn, uh, they're very easy to set up, very simple. Uh, it is done through a master-slave relationship. So this particular horn is going to a site with about 17 of these. And you only ever program one. Okay, You program one of these horns to connect or register to the Spider PBX telephone system. And when you send out a page, it will receive it and it will rebroadcast it out to all the other devices that may be listening. And so any other horns, speakers, lights, uh, whether indoor or outdoor, are simply set to listen uh, to the broadcasts from this horn. Now this horn can be programmed a number of different ways. You can have it go to a pre-recorded announcement. You can have it be a part of a ring group. Okay, where if you have several guys running around on a forklift and you have a call coming in on them, you can have the ringer also go out through the horn so they know to get back in because they have a phone call. Uh, and then you can also use it for your typical paging zones uh, that you would expect. And so they're, they're very nice, uh, very easy to set up. Uh, in addition to the programming of the horns in terms of receiving uh, the pages, you also still have the individual volume control. And volume control can be set one of two different ways. The primary way is through a manual type setup where if you are in a noisy environment, you need to turn up the volume to take into account the, the louder uh, decibel level of the area, or if you have a quiet environment, you want to turn down the volume so you're not blasting everybody. Uh, that is one way to do it. The other way is through adaptive volume control. With adaptive volume control, it will use a little microphone that's built into this horn, and it will listen in on the current sound level and adjust the volume accordingly. So if you have a noisy environment that gets quiet and then back loud again, it will dy dynamically uh, determine what the volume should be whenever that particular page goes through. And so you can set, the again, the volume as either manual or adaptive. Now, if you already have uh, a traditional paging system with the typical tip and ring, 
to RCA, to amplifier, to speaker wire, to speaker, in this case a horn, this will work just fine in tandem with what you already have. If, however, you're going into new construction, uh, we think that you're going to find this one just a little bit nicer in terms of ease of installation. You just run a, a network cable wherever you want one of these, and that's it. There's nothing else to do. In terms of future proofing, you don't need to go up in the rafters to make adjustments to a knob or you know, adjust a physical wire. You simply pop open a web browser and make any adjustments you'd like in the administrative interface. So if you are in a manufacturing facility or a warehouse or just a, a general office environment, uh, we'd love to help you out. So please give us a contact. Thank you. Please remember to like, share, subscribe, and click the bell icon for notifications of new videos. Thank you from all of us at Spider Technologies.